Well, hi there, I'm Fenwa. I'm Lobs. I'm Demo Weasel. And what welcome back to a... 007 Bloodstone Did for the PlayStation 3. Research? No, the researcher is dead. But hey, there's that achievement. Fire. Go on. Pomerov. Stefan Pomerov. That was for beating the last mission. Oh, okay. Russian Sometimes they're man. they're delayed a bit, that's Nothing all. Nothing flagged, no police record, no unusual connections. According to the immigration data, he's in Monaco, due to leave on a flight to Moscow tonight. I'm sending you his picture and file. Got it. Let's get in touch with our best contact in Monaco. I'm bringing up the list now. See if he can stall Pomerov from leaving and have him meet me at the airport. Of course. Good. I'll be on the next flight out. Nice airport. Mm. What kind of weirdo gets off of a, like, commercial Jones. airliner wearing a tuxedo? I didn't recognize you. I'm sorry, have we met before? I think once. Something in England. Nicole Hunter. My friends call me Nikki. Nicole Hunter. You're the jewelry designer. I've been called worse. It girl, socialite. It's nice to see you, Nicole. I'm sure you've got a plane to catch. Actually, M sent me. Interesting cover. But not an unpleasant surprise. What kind of a weirdo wears a bow tie? The yeah. over there. What kind of weirdo is Daniel Craig? Uh, he's probably not human. It's nice difficult car. to visualize Daniel Craig as like just a person. <laughs> <laughs> and not yeah. like an avatar or an actor. Uh, D he's a, like a video game protagonist in real life. Yes, exactly. So what can you tell me about Pomerov? Oh, he's such a lech. Yes. Uh, this car is also a real car. It's a 2007 uh, Koenigsegg CCXR. It is not drivable, but more like Koenigsegg. Egg. Like I'm imagining, uh, Daniel Craig can only interact with things in his house that have prompts over them. Also, also his neck was cutting into his collar there. Oh no! Her hair strand doesn't move. No. Uh, oh, actually, it twitches back and forth. I want to say that Nicole Hunter is the the final uh, character in this game that is voiced and likenessed by a real person. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, uh, singer slash songwriter Joss Stone. You may recognize her for a soul cover of "Fell in Love with a Girl" called "Fell in Love with a Boy" that came out about ten years ago. Oh. Is she the Bloodstone? Uh, you may also recognize her for the song "I'll Take It All" from the video game 007 Bloodstone for the PlayStation. Oh, okay. So she is the Bloodstone. That's right, she is the Bloodstone. Mm -hmm. It was her all along. You could put her in your fist, and in a week you'd have a diamond. <laughs> you'd have a ruby, you nut. Listen. <laughs> to travel the whole world, and nobody pays any attention. Emma approached you? Not exactly. Well, how not exactly? Well, there was this little tax problem a few years ago. A little tax problem. And a small customs problem involving some diamonds. So that's how a girl from the Society Pages ends up working for MI6? Yes, James. But believe me, when necessary, I can be very discreet. Smashes right into the wall. <laughs> I'm going to put on my war paint before the meeting. I'll text you on the cell phone to let you know when we're almost finished. I'll text he you on he, the cell phone. Does he ever emote in this game? Uh, he smiles and frowns, hmm. I think. It's basically what you can expect from James Bond. He smiled once. He smiled in, like, the first cutscene with him. He have a big old grin. Okay. Here we go. All right. Now the, now the mission starts. Mm -hmm. He teleported out of the car right into here. Go for a swim. Have you ever thrown a coin in and made a wish? Why would I want? Modern gamers expect to swim in fountains. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. somebody went into the castle when there was a nine at the end of the timer. That's right, this is going to take <laughs> forever. But first, we have a message on our smartphone. Yeah, detective mode those fireworks. This is such a And it's this, nude. this brass nude. Send brass. Nice. Just a political cartoon featuring James Bond looking at his phone while fireworks go off. All right, James, I'm in. Pomroff's coming down to meet me. Good, I'm heading through the garden. James Bond is labeled millennials for some reason. Yeah, and uh, uh, Statue of Liberty in the corner. Okay, it's on. Can you inspect that brass nude? Uh, you can only inspect the ones that make your cell phone go off. Uh, is, that what, is, that, is that what Daniel Craig calls his... Uh, is private place? Don't worry. Sure. I know how to oh. handle a man like You can only inspect the ones that make his cell phone go off. Mm-hmm. 
That should just immediately arouse suspicion there. Like, how did nobody see that? Well, that's because there's only one guard in this area, and he's the guard whose job it is to stand right there so that we can chuck him over the ledge. Ah, yeah. Oh, no, the worst position. Oh, no. He's not paid enough. Every fortress needs that guard. Yes. Jolly team standing down. Eyes open tonight. We've got orders to make sure we patrol the gardens. Understood. Squad commanders, ensure your teams are in position. Are there other Assassin's Creed maneuvers in this game? I mean, there's contextual options to hit X to kill a dude with your fists. Oh, I see. And you can jump out of the uh, London Tower of London and into a haystack. Aka! What? What birds are are? What birds uh, is London known for? It, pigeons, probably. I don't know. Yeah, this is this is not a let's play troop of ornithologists here. No. You know what National Day is like? There's always some drunk tourist who tries to sneak in here. Yes, sir. So, uh, for this infiltration section, there's basically this one guard that goes through the area that we're going to, and he talks to the other guards, and they have a conversation, and then he moves on to the next guard. Let's move it. Finish your cigarette and start your patrols. So, So, all we have to do is wait for him to finish talking to someone, mm -hmm. and as soon as he does, that seals their fate, <laughs> and then we move on. We get valuable exposition. Anything to report? Nothing, sir. Whoa. That was a bullet, wasn't it? Uh, that was a graphical glitch. Okay. <laughs> well, now he's just talking to a stone lion. Yeah, we're just gonna wait. By taking chances. But do you think it has something to do with that Chinese guy he met with? I heard it didn't go well. That's not your problem. Your job is to keep your eye on the gardens. His job is to guard that, that stone lion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the biggest hug. Oh, hugged out. A tactical hug. Fireworks are still going. That must be uh, quite a lot of fireworks. And they're all illegal. I like that not it's not split up into into like separate show pieces. Instead, it's just 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 this constant yeah uh, barrage of fireworks. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. So here's the hacking mini game. There's the hacking mini game. That's basically it. what hacking is. That's what hacking looks like. Uh, there's no consequence for screwing up, you just have to do it again. Mm. You don't get electrocuted like in Bioshock? No, and it doesn't like set off an alarm and you'd only get one chance. The worst <sighs> consequence, having to play more of the game. What gives you double O status? Uh, let me see. What'd you do? Uh, I completed the last tutorial section, which was hacking? Uh, learning how to use hacking. Oh. Wow, you've done it. What gives you double O status? Absolutely nothing. It's a commentary. <laughs> Oh. You get it by playing the game so that the developers can track it and see how far people got. Yes. Yeah, I guess. James. James. Comrov's still not here. What should I do if he doesn't show up? 0.5% of players ended up getting double O status? I can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> they got really flummoxed by trying to press all that X button that time. Uh, well, let's put all our production values for the next game in. Oh. Mm. Let's see. Why? We found we found a stone lantern. Why does that matter? Also, I, I could I could pull up the intel about the stone lantern if you'd like. Delta squad, what's your current? Delta team here, manning post at sector two. Is this is this place like supposed to be a bunch of different sort of cultural architecture in one place? It would uh, get across how. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Good job. Yes. Notice there. Okay. Oh no! And now it's on. You're hurt. Stain cover. So un unfortunately, because I, because I was me, mm -hmm. uh, we did not get the achievement sneaky gardener for going through the Monaco Gardens without being spotted. Oh. It's okay. You'll do it in the next playthrough. That's right. I guess we're in the catacombs now. Mm -hmm. uh, the good news is that is that the guards being on alert is uh, is per area basically, so um, we don't have to worry about any of the other guards being on alert. Don't work too hard. Corner hold. I can see why you you played through this game multiple times <laughs> because of the <laughs> brightness <laughs> setting. Yeah, just like and and I assume like this is and this is what we had to settle for. Uh. You ran five separate takes of this <laughs> scene, and this was the anything. best one. 
He's like, hey, where'd you go? Yeah, the guards can be forgiven for their poor vision in this case. Yeah, it's, it's they, they're they also dealing with the brightness issue. Mm -hmm. They they have to turn their gamma up individually. Yeah. Next part of the level. It's what happens when all of your surfaces are made of Vantablack and just absorb light instead of bouncing it off. Yes. Adjust a slider until Bond is barely visible. <laughs> well, we've already got that. Yeah. The problem is that if the game was any brighter, then, like, the subtitles would be, like, invisible against a washed-out white mm. everywhere. In the next level, the guards are wearing uh, special gamma glasses. <laughs> That's right. Turns them into the Hulk. Yes. Yep. Uh, because you got rid of three cameras, you got the... the yep, we got the 1984 achievement. That's you know, like in that book. Fahrenheit 451. Do robots dream of electric sheep? That's barely a reference. <laughs> oh. That is... Okay. It's also a, a do android dream of electric sheep. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Come in, bravo. Request... Look at that statue. Mm-hmm. I'll die before I surrender, Tim. Uh, that statue is not important enough to scan. How did this guy not hear the commotion outside? Because his job is to guard that ledge until I take him down. Wow. He's doing his job very well. Really, his job is to guard the section of hallway in front of the ledge. That's right. At least it is as far as you know. Yeah. Yeah. Why is he guarding an unimportant foot? There, there are other guards Why are out. they guarding this room full of covered furniture that you can hide around? They're, uh, they're unused uh, casino games, I guess. Yeah, you gotta, I guess, guard all of the money that's in them. Gu guard all the casino games that people aren't playing. Slots? Mm -hmm. Oh, get them. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Yep. Well, duh, duh. So unfortunately, because that guard appeared out of nowhere, uh, I've been spotted, and so it's on. A. Well, what do you mean appeared out of nowhere? <laughs> he was right there. He was around the corner. No. I like how you were completely invincible during the yeah. segment where you were checking that guard out. Mm -hmm. well, it's like stabbing a dude in uh, Turok, right? Right. All right, Nicole, I'm in the casino. Keep Palmer off distracted while I find you. Okay, James, but wait, he's coming. I know, we heard the shots from downstairs. Yeah, guns are loud. How did that guy not hear it? You can't hear it above the noisy commotion of the casino. I can't hear it. The casino, I mean. It's very noisy, it's just that the, uh, the arches there are soundproof. Use computer. <laughs> he just gets it wrong. <laughs> he does, he gets it wrong. Oh, yeah. It appears the code has been divided between three different guards in the casino. What do you think he punched? What do you think he punched in? I feel, I feel like in that animation, his index fingers were out and he was just uh, flapping his wrists up and down. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, he's he's using the computer the way to tell you he uses it in uh, in Goldeneye. So there's three guards that we have to get three keys from, only one of which is actually going to pose as a threat, so we're gonna save that one for last. We'll just take these other two. You just have to scan their junk. One down, 007. So wait, that was the main casino floor? Yeah. Like, didn't seem very heavily populated. No. I guess that means it's very exclusive. That's another one, Bond. Yeah, probably. Why did they make it so big then? And also, if this were a real casino, it'd smell like suntan lotion, cigarettes, and old people. That's accurate. Anyone know when the players are right? No idea. They just said to watch the room. Why did he have to open both doors? To infiltrate twice as quietly. Mm. I heard Pomerov himself is playing. And you know what he's like about his privacy. Ah, that will be it. Look at all these, uh... Oh, okay, that's the one. Yeah, there are certainly a lot of guards, like, guarding tables that no one seems to be able to access. They probably received a hot tip that, uh, some suave Englishman was going to find his way through this. That's right. Thank goodness James Bond and sent in some other suave Englishman to take the fall for it. My my patrol ends right here. 
mm -hmm. in this line mm -hmm. in the middle of the hallway. Oh, no, Somebody that, it, else was supposed to be here to patrol the other half of the hallway, but... <laughs> he didn't see the, hear the gun fall behind him. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, like, he, he went on alert just as I was choking him out, which means that technically the guards are now all on alert. That's ridiculous. Um, which means this is no longer stealth, a stealth mission, it's on. They felt the psychic link with their comrade fall, uh, fall apart. Right, and uh, this this game is also, I mean, no surprise here, but it's not, it, it isn't the sort of stealth game where you have, like, a last known position. Once the enemies are on alert, they know exactly where you are at all time. Anyone have a visual? They don't seem like they know where you are. They're taking evasive positions. Not good enough. <laughs> oh, you had to kill this one. So we just murdered some hotel staff. Yeah, they have guns. It is technically possible to get through this segment without alerting a single guard. Mm -hmm. um, on one of my earlier playthroughs, I managed to choke out everybody except for the security chief mm -hmm. and then just scanned him and then left the room and then you with shot him. him surrounded by bodies. That's it, 007. You've got all the data necessary to access Pomerov's lift. Lift? This is some kind of English game. It's ridiculous. I wonder if um, if game developers uh, for games like these, if they still um, rely on the notion that you need a, a gigantic body count in order to make an action game actually feel tense or for players of those games to, to have fun playing them. Well, this game certainly has a share of body counts. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you necessarily need a really large body count for, a, for an action game to be tense. Oh no! Breached. Breach mode. This is the breachiest breach. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure what the game wants me to do here. I think it wanted me to just pop all three of those guys in the heads, but I reflexively go for the melee kills instead. Instead you ran into their line of fire. Yeah. And uh, just like in Goldeneye for the Wii, just like in Call of Duty games, there's no control over those breach mode moments. It's just something that happens for cinematic purposes. Mm. Your instinct takes over. Yeah. That's right. You of all people should know, dear Stefan. You can't hit a jack without hitting It's a shame that uh, this isn't one of those games where, uh, as a first person mode, where you can walk up to something real close and your hand is like the same size because it's in the. In the, in the heads up display right because it's it's being rendered on a different layer yeah. Oh, yeah and your like hand is super tiny compared to like another person existing uh the worst <laughs> yeah. the worst offender of that was the um star trek third person shooter from namco oh um, that exists yes it's it's it was um it was made as a companion piece to star trek into darkness and it was noteworthy oh, in that one. right right that thing that it's giant bomb played right it's like third person and you can you can like flip into tricorder mode which turns your body into essentially like a, a user interface element mm -hmm. which means you can get up super close to the faces of the people around you and like the <laughs> scaling is entirely fucked up um good yes i i recommend looking up screenshots of that you know just talking about how you know that game existing like i feel like it's kind of surprising that there aren't a whole lot of uh it's, it seems to me like there's not a whole lot of, like, movie licensed games, at least not to the same extent that there used to be, like, in the PS2, Xbox era. Is that because games are more expensive? Uh, they're all on mobile these days. What was the nature of this research? I told you. We were investigating anthrax and smallpox to come up with antidotes that could be used in the field in the case of a biological attack. And there was no way to militarize them? To turn them into weapons instead of cures? No. No? So why are these documents in code? I told you. I was working Hey, it's the scene again. Hey, that's what I do. I really want to watch the movie on here. Nah, James Bond is on his cell phone, <laughs> as always. Get a load of this guy. Stop. Stop. I'll tell you. Thank you. They know where you are. 
I like the notion of him closing the safe on the phone immediately after yeah. seeing something grisly. Ugh, nobody that's needs, how, that's nobody how, needs to see that. Yeah, that's how he hangs up. I like how the act of closing the safe was what set off the alarm and not opening, opening it. it. Nobody would close the safe that quickly. Yeah, nobody but a thief. If you were actually, you know, the... If you, were, if you had uh, access to the safe with uh, permission, then you would have closed it so gingerly yes. so as not to upset the owner. Maybe there's a, a second code that you have to enter to close the safe. Nicole, where are you? I'm outside. What happened? They've closed the casino. Get to the car. Bring it around to the front. What are you going to do? Let's see if I can tip the odds in our favor. I, I also like that sterling demonstration of video game AI, where mm -hmm. um, you are immediately behind, behind cover. The enemies know where you are, um, mm -hmm. but none of them will just uh, up, like directly approach you, perhaps reach their guns over and attempt to hurt you that way. Yeah, they all, they all wait for you. It's a shame you can't do like environmental stuff, like shoot those chandeliers so they fall on people. You know, I never tried it, but I don't think they would do anything. I like This doesn't seem like that kind of game. There, are, there aren't like glinting hinges on those. Yeah, the the, uh, chandelier. the chandelier does not sh show up as a shootable object mm. when I use my smartphone. <laughs> they make sure to shoot directly at the stacks of poker chips. Yeah, uh, like I was gonna say, there's a bunch of these just lying around exactly for the purpose of like scene dressing. Yes, exactly. You, you're supposed to look at it and go, "Ah, oh, wow, production value." Yeah, wow, all these people just left their winnings on the table. Yes. Well, they ran as soon as they said, uh, James Bond is here. Is is James Bond a code name? I think it's his actual name. Yeah. But then why does, why does everybody know his name is James Bond? Because he tells everybody his name is James Bond. That is true. Why? Because he's not a very good spy. He's only the seventh one of them. Listen. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I don't think I've actually pointed out the Blind Fury achievement before. It's just for um, for blind killing 100 enemies behind cover. Oh, I thought it was for Blind Fire. Well, yeah, it's for killing behind fi uh, blind or for the for your Blind Fire kill. Mm, okay. Uh, I want to say I do maybe like a dozen of them throughout the entire game. Mm -hmm. Because it does waste a lot of ammo. You're hard, hardly any of your bullets hit when you're doing it. It's because uh, blind fire is always bad in games. Oh yes. no! Yeah. Oh no! We need a new, a new one. Ah oh, fuck! Yeah, now we need to send in 008. Yeah. So how many how many James Bond games are there that just cannot resist putting that uh, that blood wipe? when you die. It's probably in all of them. I mean, it's kind of a like a, a staple. Yeah. It doesn't have that bombastic Yeah. You gonna die again? Oh no, you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> you brought you got all your life back. That's right. This uh, this cover will heal me. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is get and stay behind yes, it. You just have to rub your back up against this wall. Yeah, he absorbs the minerals from the. And then the blood stains just disappear off your body. Mm -hmm. And then the blood stones disappear off your body. Ah, it no. It is always amusing, like uh, because I'm I'm playing through Grand Theft Auto Five again, and like in cutscenes, the bullet wounds and stuff that you get show up. And, like, there's some pretty gnarly-looking bullet wounds, but the characters are just going about like nothing's happened. Uh, that is always fantastic. Yeah. So after all that trouble of getting killed trying to go to this door, that wasn't even the door that we were supposed to go to. Oh. Uh -huh. It's this door. James, I've got the car in front of the casino. Where are you? I'm on my way. Get ready to move. I think I asked this, but do you get any fun weapons in this game? Or no. are they all just realistic ones? There's uh, 16 weapons in total, I believe. One of them is an explosive. The rest of them are just bullet guns. Lame. 
Yeah, this is no lightning guns. No, no, no moonbreaker lasers. Mm. No rocket launchers. Nothing fun like yeah, that. Yeah, this is um Daniel Craig Bond. He he just uses weapon or just uses traditional weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't even get like the gloves for your hands that shoot bullets from each finger. I don't. You don't even have like a watch that shoots a laser out of it. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I've actually been meaning to play through um, the operative known as Forever again. Mm -hmm. I since I actually have the CDs for it around here, and like that game, it, I think it'd be interesting to see how that game compares to this, since it is mm -hmm. a a comedy and like not afraid at, at all to be ridiculous or to like mm -hmm. include ridiculous weapons, but also it has you doing most of the same stuff. Just infiltrate this, listen in on conversations, pick up documents, mm -hmm. find key cards without being detected, and so on and so forth. Well, the, the stealth aspect in these games is, is always optional, except for, like, maybe one segment where there's an objective that says stay quiet. But, like, these games are always... They're first-person shooters masquerading as stealth games. Mm. I suppose that is true. <laughs> or cover-based third-person shooters, rather. Why didn't they try shooting him when they were clearly within his line of <sighs> quiet? And uh, so now we've got uh, two Jesus solid giant. minutes of cutscenes. Excellent. Why didn't they follow him? I'm sure they have cars. Oh, there's probably like, you know, 50 white Koenigseggs out, you know, on the roads at an even time. True. Do you mind if 007 and I speak privately for a moment? This is a need to know. Of course. No problem. We can talk. What did you find out? We've translated all the documents you photographed in Pomarov's office this afternoon. It appears that most of them were invoices for highly sophisticated chemical manufacturing equipment. They were to be delivered to a defunct... How long is the movie department? version of this on YouTube? I, I, have to, I have to imagine it's under 30 minutes. Yeah, it's probably. Are you talking about the theater mode version? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm in the process of cutting it together. It's about 30 or 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah. It's not a interminable the same way uh, a lot of Metal Gear games are. No. No, there, there isn't a 90-minute cutscene in this game. They couldn't afford that much Daniel Craig, let's be honest. For what it's worth, the Metal Gear um, versions of these, I, I find them more watchable because they typically have more interesting things happening during them. Well, they're dumber, but in an entertaining way. Yeah. M thought you might be able to help facilitate things. I'm going to need a flight, ground transportation, a local contact. Wait, wait, not so fast. I told Pomroff I'd get back to him about his business proposal. So it's the perfect cover to get the two of us into the refinery. The two of us? M said facilitate, not the company. Well, how do you think I'm going to get you to Siberia? Oh, let me guess. A friend of yours owns a plane? May I speak with Rudolph, please? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> You're going to love it. It's got a shower, a wine cellar, and the most unbelievable circular bed. Yes, I'll hold. What? What's that look for? You'll be enjoying all that stuff alone. I'll be in the cockpit flying the plane. It's a shame that Daniel, Daniel Craig's last name doesn't start with a K. He does kind of have, like, a chimpanzee face, though. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, is this an attempt to, like, shoehorn it into the, D, into the DK rap? No, I just want to call him DK. All <laughs> It'd right. be funny. <laughs> sure. the, the K stands for Craig? Yeah. Okay. Because he, he's a guest in Mortal Kombat, you see. <laughs> I see. He's in there along with uh, Daniel Craig and Daniel Krang. And on that bombshell, <laughs> oh, 